Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Thursday, and it's Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. <sighs> the song's exciting, it pumps me up, reminds me that I've done nothing lately. Uh, as many of you who've been following know, I've had a lot of health problems. One of the problems lately is not, well, it's my health, but it's more, I'm trying to research like crazy what I can eat, what I can't eat, and try to, and so I've spent most of my free time researching and not crocheting or knitting. That's actually kind of a problem, and not just because I'm not getting anything done, but because I'm like not doing anything that like brings me joy I'm just doing this research and so I need to take time to do that so yeah um, it is wearables month and I realize here as I'm looking at my sock I did not do my sock stuff on Sunday socks if you were a sock knitter um, it is a perfect month to do this in we've got the crazy sock lady has a uh, started summer sock camp and so you can go look her up I know she does some stuff on Instagram she's got a Ravelry group and so you can go and if you make a sock you can crochet it or knit it there's some rules um, you can participate in the crazy sock lady summer camp and so it would be a perfect way to double dip this um, I wonder if I have any sock yarn that would fit the bird of the month to double dip for Judy's Christians and crochet uh, make along. Um, if you haven't checked her out, I will link her channel below and you can go see what she's got going on for June's bird of the month. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. So I wish I had sock yarn in that, but I don't think I do. Um, so you could do that. Also, if you are doing socks and you choose to do the fish, fish lips, kiss hill, be sure to join the fish lips, kiss hill Ravelry stuff because she has some things going on there. I haven't checked in for a while. I need to Yeah Like I said, it's I've been Busy so socks you can crochet or knit socks and they count as wearables guys seriously uh, And if you're making a sweater if you are making a shawl if you are making a scarf if you are making slippers and mittens gloves uh what other hats cowls skirts some people make shorts they knit or crochet shorts or pants or like there's so many things that you could do and join this month in the um things we're making thursday I th another thing about it is the reality is it's a pretty loose thing. You don't have to. You can bring in something you've already started like this, which I happen to have right here. I have not worked on for a while, but this is my Vortex shawl. If I work on this this month, I can totally count it as the things we're making Thursday thing. And if I don't finish it, that's okay too. There's no like rule that you have to finish it by the end of the month. It's just a fun way for us to all um, kind of collaborate on this. If you do not have a channel and don't want to make videos, that's okay too. You can send pictures to most of us and we'd be happy to share them. I actually really love the idea of making like a collage of everything people have made. I've been saying that for a long time. Nobody ever sends me anything they make. Not even my own kids. They don't crochet or knit. But I'm like, hey, I can put pictures of that. I can put pictures of that. My daughter, she made the cutest things. No pictures. <sighs> shaking my head or her anyway um yeah the, so there's that you can it, it doesn't have to be something you start in June and finish in June it can be something you started before it could be something you start this month and don't finish but you just choose to actively work on it because of things we're making Thursday and so um I I also have I have started a sweater for my grandson that I did like this much across the bottom of all three of the panels for this, this cardigan and I've done nothing more. This would be a perfect month to work on that. 
I shake my head at myself. Like, guys, seriously, what is up with this? Um, a part of it I know is summertime is a little bit challenging for people in general. I don't think this is my problem. My problem is seriously, I've spent so much of my time uh, researching and reacting to foods and when I react to foods. Or yesterday, dish soap. I accidentally bought the wrong dish soap and it was bad. Uh, my hands itched for a couple hours. My arms itched for like the rest of the day, late into the evening, night. Um, it's hard to tell what happened with my congestion because it's seasonal allergy time, so everything's already inflamed. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's happening, and that's taking up so much of my time. It's ridiculous, so much of my time. So I have chosen to delegate some aspects. My daughter loves makeup and I said, okay, your job is to help us figure out what we can either make or find that is um, gonna be free of these things so that we don't have reactions. Because we both have reaction sensitivities to a lot of things. So that's her current assignment is that. But I'm still figuring out the food thing on my own. Mostly because the information on when you go to a thing, salicylate free uh, histamine free. I was like, what's that word? I'm like everybody knows that word. It's an allergy thing, but histamine free foods. Like when you go to these websites, they're overwhelming with so much information when we're just like, just tell me what I can eat. <laughs> so um, I've been doing a lot of that. Um, there was one thing. I want to have a crochet knit with me kind of thing. I have friends that go to knit groups and it just makes me so sad because I didn't get to go. Um, part of it is because if it's in a, like a yarn shop, I don't want to go because there's going to be wool in the air. I can handle it if people around me are knitting with wool. It, but I don't want to go into a shop where I'm surrounded with wool and being in there the whole time because I will start having more allergy problems than I'm already having. So I don't want to go to the ones in wool shops. And I have reached out to a few different groups of people I know trying to find uh, local yarn groups to join, crochet or knit or whatever, and I've had no luck. So what I have decided to do is create a, um, a video, Zoom kind of chat, not Zoom, because Zoom changed their rules, so if you don't pay money, you have to pay, or you only get 40 minutes, and then they turn you off, and that's annoying. Like, if it was an hour, it would be annoying, but not, like, impossible, because 40 minutes, like, that's ridiculous. So I have been looking around, I found a free uh, open source solution that I want to try out. So I want to do a video group thing with you. I need to do a little research, but I think I can actually stream it to YouTube as well. We'll see, gotta figure that out. But I want to at least invite you guys to come on to a uh, video with me. However, time day. Are you actually even interested? I think I'm going to put a poll out on my community uh, tab to see if you're interested. Now, I was kind of hoping to be able to do it in Discord, but nobody's coming to my Discord server, so I'm just like, whatever. I won't bother with Discord right now. I will find this way where you don't... For this particular service, you just follow the link. You don't have to download anything. If you're on a phone, you can, our mobile device, you can download an app, but you don't have to. You can go through an internet link. Um, so I'm hoping that because you don't have to sign up with an account or anything like that, it might be a more uh, viable solution for everybody because you can just show up to the link and come. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a poll in my community tab and invite you guys to come over and come join me. Um, I'll put out a couple of feelers for days and times. So, um, yeah, watch for that because I should have it up today, I hope, after I put this video up. Thank goodness for video editing so I can edit out that sneeze. Um, 
once I've got the video up, like, so that if, sometimes I upload the video and it takes me a while to do all the back end stuff and the video is actually ready to go. So once all the back end stuff is done, I push publish. Sometimes I have to do all the back end stuff and it's still uploading and then I can push publish or set it to a date and time and let it continue uploading and then I can go to the in all reality what's going to happen is once I've got the video to the point where it's all on YouTube I'm going to go to the community tab you guys I'm in a rambly mood right now yeah anyway with all that oh hey I forgot I forgot I invite you to hook that subscribe button like the video if you like it be sure to check out other my others of my videos like subscribe all that kind of stuff if you if if it interests you and leave some yarn in the comments that means leave me some comments what are you working on are you participating in things we're making thursday this month are you crocheting are you knitting are you making videos hey Check out the hashtag TWMT um, for other people's contents. The Facebook group is always linked down below. Um, I will link the, um, the this pattern for the Vortex Shawl. It is a free pattern if you want to start it and you're a knitter, you can do that. Um, so, if this is such an open month, there are so many things you can make that are wearable. Oh, I had an idea. Tell me what you think. If I make something for my cat, does that count as a wearable? Nobody answered me last week. I need to know. If I make something for my cat to wear, is that a wearable? I thought about making him little socks. Wouldn't that be stinking cute to make him with, like four little tiny socks to wear on his? Yeah. I think I need to do that. Oh, I think I need to do that. Gotta go to my yarn stash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so remember to let your light shine through your creations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.